let's go again. I just, I guess it's just the nature of technology, the te nature of connectivity. But following an atrocious and disappointing batting display by the West Indies in their first innings of 126, where majority of the batsmen would be very embarrassed by the way they got out, leaving only Kevin Sinclair and the debutant Jordan Johnson to contribute any total of significance. West Indies having set 421 to win the match by South African A, they fought gallantly. They put in a big effort. And I believe if it wasn't for the poor umpiring decision, West Indies A would have at least drawn that match. I also believe that these umpires should not be paid for this match. It was the worst umpiring performance I have seen since 1980 in New Zealand when Michael Olden was forced to kick down the stump. I can't no longer be so highly critical of umpires like Reefer and Dugal and Bratwaite. While they must raise their standard, because really in the end, I do not care much about South African umpires. The umpires that I care about really is our own West Indian umpires and hoping that they will graduate to the next level and give good performances when they are umpiring cricket games. Hello everyone, welcome to the show. I'm glad that you have stuck with me through this connectivity issue. And let us recap what happened today on the final day of the four-day match between West Indies A and South Africa A. West Indies A lost the series 1-2, but it was not for want of effort. Before I do though, I just want to remind you of Western Union. The link is in the video description. If you are sending money from the United States, you do not have to leave wherever you are. Just click on that link in the video description and let Western Union send it for you to over 200 countries and territories all over the world. Western Union is reliable, fast, and easy to use. So check out the link in the video description just below the video. Click on it. If you are in the United States and sending money to anywhere in the world, or if you have relatives or friends in the United States sending money to you anywhere in the world, just share the link with them and ask them to click on it. So West Indies A were bowled out for 126 in their first innings. On the first day of the match, South Africa A won the toss and decided to bat first. They made 274 with that man Shamar, Shamar Joseph getting three for 65 and Kevin Sinclair getting five for 44. When West Indies batted, West Indies collapsed to 126 all out with only Kevin Sinclair getting an even 50 and the debutant, and the debutant Jordan Johnson getting 33. At the second time of bat, South Africa A made 272 for five declare, with Shamar Joseph getting all five wickets in the South African A innings to end with match figure of eight for 141 in only his second match. Shamar Joseph getting 12 wickets in all in the series, having been left out of the first match and play the second, the second and third match. So West Indies set a daunting target of 421 to win, reached 304 for nine, well, he said 304 all out as Seals wasn't able to bat because of injury. And I will come to Seals a little later on. The Silver, the captain, made 110, was the last man out as he tried to win the match. Kirk McKenzie also made 81. It was a good effort from Kirk McKenzie in this second innings. And it made just, just like Da Silva, secure their game in their ticket on the plane to go to Australia. Unfortunately, I woke up this morning at dead on four o'clock. And when I woke up at four o'clock, West Indies, I think, were 121 for one. 
And I said, soon. That's what I said to myself. And before I could sit down, as soon as I turned on the television, and yes, and I saw 121 for one, I sat down and I said, soon. But by the time the television came up, Mackenzie was out. Shortly after, Chanda Paul chased a wide one and out. And shortly after that, Jordan Johnson out. And I was wondering to myself if I am the one who was sought. Maybe if I did not wake up at that time, maybe West Indies would have won the match. But it was a good effort on the part of the West Indies batsmen after such a poor, poor performance in their first innings. If they did not bat so poor in their first innings, clearly West Indies would have gone on to win this match. I want to say a word about Jaden Seals, and I'm not going to be long. I'm coming to your comments very shortly. In Australia, Jaden Seals broke down in a match in the first innings, and he was forced to bowl in the second innings, and he had a prolonged injury. I remember seeing Jason Seals making his debut against Pakistan, and I pronounced then that he's the next great West Indies fast bowler. I still think that he has the ability to be so. When he broke down in Australia, I said to his father, I hope apparently he never heard me, but I said right here that I hope his parents never let it happen again. But he went to South Africa with the A-team, rightfully so. He had an injury in the first match. He did not play in the second match. But then they brought him back to play the third match, and he broke down again. Why cannot they manage this youngster properly? Why is it that he's constantly being rushed back into the team? That is something that I'm very uncomfortable with. And I hope that they fix the problem once and for all. And if it takes six months, eight months, one year for Jaden Seals to come back, make sure that this time when he comes back, he's properly fixed. The other person that I would like to talk about is Joshua Da Silva. Joshua De Silva is no doubt was under a lot of pressure. He may still be under a lot of pressure. But this 110, I think, secure his ticket to Australia. For Joshua De Silva, if he's not going to keep wicket, who is going to keep wicket? Shane Dory shall retire. I think that Hope would be a good fit at number seven in the West Indies team, test team, and keep wicket. But I think one of my analysts had told me that Hope doesn't want to keep in test cricket because there's an issue with his knee. But last year, earlier this year, Hope kept for Yorkshire in four-day red ball cricket in England. So what's the difference between keeping in four-day red ball cricket for Yorkshire or keeping for the West Indies, the Caribbean people. So I think that Joshua De Silva, this century that he made today, could sort of secret that issue. I cannot say much more about Shamar Joseph. I have done a video and I've spoken about Shamar Joseph extensively. And most of you know my position on Shamar Joseph, that he should be on the team to Australia. There are a few things that I want to point out, though, about Shamar Joseph that I witnessed in this match. And I hope that I'm wrong. But I saw it. So I don't think I'm wrong. I should say I hope it is not deliberate. But before I list those two things, I want to say this to Shamar Joseph. Remember what got you where you are right now. Don't change anything improve on what you have don't let anyone stop you from doing what you are doing because it's what you are doing that got you here if anyone give you any advice that is not an addition to what you are doing but to try to stop you from doing something that is not good advice i notice 
that a number of catches have been dropped off Shamar Joseph Bowling. I would like to think it is coincident. I do not want to believe that it is deliberate. But what I also notice is that when he bowls a good delivery, there's always purses in his ears. But when he bowls a delivery that it for four or so on, no one said anything to him. And I'm wondering again, Carl Upa, the present batting coach, or what did, how did he resign? I don't remember. But Carl Upa once said that Cricket West in this team is a very selfish team. You will think that they are your friends, but the moment you are not around, don't expect anyone to even remember you. Shamar Joseph must be careful and realize that these guys, he must respect them and be courteous, but he should never believe that they are his friend. He must also don't suffer for mediocrity. I saw Fila miss Fila ball off his bowling, and he was clapping the Fila after the Fila gave chase and prevented from going to the boundary. That, you don't accept that as an up-and-coming fast bowler. The final thing I want to say to him, and I definitely hope that he's listening to me, his body looks like that of Ronaldo or one of those very fit person, very rib. I'll be continue to look, be looking at him and see if all of a sudden he start putting on some belly. I hope this young man doesn't change because he has the potential to be great. The final word before I come to your comment. And I know some of the Chanda Paul fans are going to take me on for this. But Chanda Paul today again batted 128 deliveries and only scored 31 runs. He's playing against a second string South African team. He must be able to score faster. If Chanda Paul had scored at even one run every two ball, that's a strike rate of 50 today. His strike rate was 24. If he had a strike rate of 50, he would have scored 64 runs. He made 31. That means he would have had it a further 33 to his total. West Indies probably would still have lost the match, but he would have made 33 more runs. If he takes, if he took 128 deliveries to make 31 runs against a second string South African bowling attack, when he goes to Australia, and this is different from last year, last year the South African bowlers never knew him, so they never planned for him. This year they will be planning for him. For Chanda Paul, to make a century in South Africa, scoring at a run rate of 24, at a strike rate of 24, he would have to face over 400 deliveries to make 100 in Australia. I ask the question, when last an opposition batsman faced 400 deliveries against the Australian bowling attack? I wish Chanda Paul all the best, and I hope he proves me wrong. Now, last year, this time, when West Indies was going to South Australia, I said that Bonner should not go. That time, I probably only had 100, 1,000 subscribers. Now, I have over 10,000, so many of you would not have heard it. But persons like Sheldon Simit, Mr. Casanova, Dobro 7, Supernova 22, John Paul Nichols, and those who have been here for a long while questioned me when I told them that Bonner was going to get it if he goes to South Africa, if he goes to Australia, and I don't want him to go. I hope Bonner had proved me wrong. And it is not something that I've proud about because back then, when they asked me, say, how did I know? I told them I do not want to talk about it because I'm not happy that he had gotten hit. 
I do hope that Chanda Paul proves me wrong and make a century or two in Australia. But he has to improve his strike rate. It cannot be 24 as a West Indies opener. As an international opening batsman, Chanda Paul's strike rate is the lowest among openers. I don't have anything against Chanda Paul, but what I said just now is the data that is available. I'm glad that you are here. I'm going to take your comments now. Good evening, everyone, and I'm thank, thank you for sticking with me despite the connectivity issue. Merrick, greetings once more to the forum. Greetings to you, Merrick. Brian H., team put up a great fight in the second innings. Proud of their effort. Me too, Brian H. I am over the moon for the effort. I'm happy for the silver. And I'm happy for Kirk McKenzie. Just, I'm just a little disappointed that he did not make that 100. Because as soon as I relaxed and said, this is a 100 for Kirk McKenzie, he got out. The South African side is too strong for us. Tyrell, I do not believe so. I think that we can compete with the South African side. The only thing that the South Africans were stronger than us with in this game is that they are, were playing with 13 players and not 11. And so West Indies A was at a disadvantage. So I do not agree that they were stronger than us. The champion. It's good to bring those things up. The young man needs someone to stand up for him in this world of jealousy. Yes, indeed, the champion. But he must, he must know, he must know himself and realize that in the end, it's him alone. And so he must work hard. The champion, I'm telling you, deep down in my gut, I believe that Shamar Joseph has the potential to be a great fast bowler, to be the next great West Indies fast bowler. I deep down believe so. But it's up to Shamar Joseph. If he wants to go ahead and do what the others are doing, and so all of them are on the same level, then he can go ahead and do it. But if he wants to be great, he has to continue to work hard and do the things that got him to this level how you doing sir good morning nice good afternoon nice to have you here mr busher sir carlton you on a roll i agree with you chanda paul assessment thank you and i'm glad that is a it is a guyanese that is saying so i really appreciate that thank you very much mr bush mr butcher good to see you chanda paul should be in danger of being dropped he scores few and scores slowly. Bad, bad, bad. He needs to feel some pressure. Now, on one hand, yes, but I'm always I'm also a believer in partnership. And in the second test match against India, he and Bratwade put on a 70 yard run opening partnership. In the first innings of that second test match. Sorry. So I believe in that. And the second innings, he was not out. So I do not believe at this stage that he should be dropped. What I do believe though, and what he must do, is to increase his strike rate. So I still think that he should be in the team because of that, sem I think it was 79 run partnership in that match against India, and in the second innings, Ian Blackwood was not out, so I would not drop him. Hi, good night. Good night, Jason Humphrey. Welcome to the show. Can Atley and Chase come in for a Cartian career for the third ODI for the decider? Yes, Jason Humphrey. When you say that, I think that you look at the video that I did this morning, because those are the two changes that I had in that video when I predicted my playing 11 for tomorrow. Please remember to slash a like on the video and click on that subscribe button. Hodge just needs that one big score and some consistency to make West in this team. 
the champion, you know what Hodge needs to do? And I say this to all the youngsters who want to make West Indies team, although Hodge is not so much on the young side. But if you want to make West Indies team, you need to do what Kirk McKenzie do, did. Score a double hundred. You see, when Teddy Bishop scoring a hundred, Kevin Wickham scoring a hundred, you name the rest. When all of those guys scored 100, Melia scoring an 100, when all of them scoring an 100, they are all on the same level. So if you want to move ahead of them, crack a double 100. That's what you want to do. If Jordan Johnson want to be in this West Indies team, crack a double 100. If Arj want to be in this West Indies team, crack a double 100. Centuries, everybody scores century now and then. You need to score double hundred and be consistent. Chanda Paul is vulnerable against short bowling. So don't expect any runs from him when he goes to Australia. Well, he made his debut in Australia last year, U Award, and his performance was creditable. Was creditable. He did well against the fast bowling. But my issue with him this year related to last year is that the South African bowlers would have studied him. And so it is going to be more difficult for him to score in Australia. And I want Chanda Paul to prove me wrong. I honestly want C to prove me wrong. Because if Chanda Paul makes a hundred, makes a century in Australia, I will walk through the street of the capital of Jamaica without clothes. I hope he allows me to do it. Jason Humphrey, my 11 are King Athanas Atle. You are talking about the match for tomorrow. King Athanas Atle, Ob, Chase, Etmaya, Rutherford, Shepherd, Joseph, Moti, Thomas. That will be the, the, the team for the third ODI decider. Jason Humphrey, that's the exact team that we had earlier this morning. Tyrell, you guys forgetting we are the West Indies. I rather Chanda Paul bat 400 balls for 10 runs and we lose in five days. Tyrell, well, I have no problem with your opinion, you know, because it is your opinion. It is clearly not mine and that's not my standard. If that is your standard, it is clearly not mine. But I do not have a problem with your opinion because you are free to express your opinion. And this community is accepted, it accept others' opinion. We are tolerable of other persons' views and comments. So we welcome everyone's views. But those are not my opinions. Those are not my position. That's not my standard. That's not my viewpoints. And you talk about 400 deliveries. When last I asked the question, when last a batsman, an opposition batsman, batted 400 deliveries against Australia bowling attack? Curtis and you would welcome to the show. Good night, Mr. Cricket Forum. The last ODI, Yannick and Carrier, out Chase and Atley in. Yes, that is it. We have made that change. Somehow, Curtis, did you? I think, Curtis, that you looked at the video that I did this morning. So Jupiter Saturn, welcome back. A long time I haven't seen you. And please remember to slash a like on the video and to click on that subscribe button. So West Indies A can compete with South Africa A. I don't think we are far behind in test cricket. Now, I do not think that Sir Vivian Richards said on Wednesday that we have the talent in the Caribbean. I do believe so. I, I strongly believe so. I saw it. But I would have said it a number of times. And Athena used a phrase. Athena used a phrase today. I don't see that phrase now. But I hope Athena will use that phrase again. But I had that phrase somewhere here that Athena had said today. But I, fo I found Athena phrase. But let me say this, Jupiter. Hard work beats talent if the talent doesn't work hard and that's what west indies needs to do the talent is here but the talent is not working hard this is the quote from atina and it the quote that atina quote me today 
he was quoting an Aust a cricket australian executive we expect our players to be intense but it's a learned behavior they never born that way it was drilled into them but in the west indies there's player power and so we are unable to drill that intensity into them Tyrell, remember that i don't you i don't read those comments on this show any comments that include that word it's not use here right it is not use here yes sir carlton you are also spot on regarding chanda paul not being a known player and australia will ready for him his strike rotation ratio has to go up thank you i really like that those comments especially as i said coming from a from a guyanese thank you very much i think that oh marcus labachain made the australian team he scored 400 100 and had some consistency on his belt Ch thank you the champion by the way we are winning tomorrow's game yes we are winning tomorrow's game and as usual we'll have the first session watch along and tomorrow being a saturday my co-hosts they will be available i wonder if basil is going to be available tomorrow for some comments basil please let me know if you will be available tomorrow for the comment section that's for the second innings of the match we will really appreciate you being here with us basil we look forward to having you here tomorrow no i didn't watch your video my mind just tell me that Carter and carrier need to get dropped okay good good that that you see you're a great mind i would not drop chanda paul yet either but he should be under pressure i watch chanda paul now and he gets out on the same delivery over and over again i don't see how he does not see it Brian H, you know what? I was disappointed this morning. And if you look back at Chanda Paul dismissal, and I will get it and I'll play it sometime tomorrow, is that although batting so cautiously, he held chasing a wide delivery that he should have really left. And that was very disappointing. Athena, playing for Guyana as Venezuela threat to annex their international line. And that's, that, that, that's very good that you brought up that in Athena. Because as Caribbean people, and as our historical and cultural tie to Guyana, we should all support Guyana at this very challenging time in their history. And what Venezuela is doing is completely wrong. But let's get back to the cricket. Jason Humphrey is saying that, question to you, should West Indies selectors start to pick the 18 members team for the T20 World Cup squad that will happen in the Caribbean less than eight months. Your thought? I believe that they have a core of player who they know that the, the World Cup squad is going to come from. Now, what I need to check is to see how many T20, how many T20 international matches West Indies is going to play between now and the World Cup. I will double check that and hopefully I will have that information for you tomorrow so 12 the silver the silver played for his spot in australia today yes he did and that's what we want to see from our cricketers we want to see fight we want to see guts we want to, the, to see determination and as a tina caught the australian intensity as he said intensity you don't burn with it but it is a learned behavior in making 100 you also need consistency agree with that ted roy mean that is true you need consistency and you also need a big score to separate you from the rest i don't agree we are close to south africa in test cricket because of the 18 performance remember none of the sa20 contracted south african players did not play well i agree with you but they have test players in that squad like brand and peterson and desori so those were test players in the squad olivier was also a test player so you know so i i don't think that we are far from south africa i think so our batting as it consists if we are to bat properly and work hard I think our batting is about as 
same as South Africa, but I would give them the edge in the bowling. If you look back, Basil, at the performances of the two teams in Australia last year, our batting did better than the South African batting in Australia, but they're bowling at the edge. So, and I still believe that the batting are probably just about even, but the South African bowlers have the edge. That is my opinion, Basil, but I, I, I welcome your opinion too, because that's all part of the dynamics, uh, of the dynamics, and we welcome it. Kevin Sinclair needs to be in the test team. He's better than Chase. I don't think Chase is in the test team. I expect that Kevin Sinclair will be in the in the test squad. Brian H. agreeing also. I definitely believe Kevin Sinclair will be in the test squad. South Africa, we're looking at players that would be available to go to New Zealand. SA 20 contracted players will not be available. Yes, we are aware of that, Basil. We are aware of that, and it is very sad for cricket. And you saw where Steve Smith and Pat Cummins come out and eating out against South Africa for that decision. So we are aware of that. But Desmond Ains also said that we were looking at players to go to Australia. And so you have included Tevin Imla, Jordan Johnson, and a number of those youngsters, McCaskey. So we were also looking at players. I, I love the conversation, Basil, and, and I love that we can express different opinions but i just think that we are probably not far from south africa batting equal but they have the edge in bowling said elmore alls welcome to the show i feel john will be back soon good job brother thank you very much jason Humphrey saying question oh you see joseph as a vice captain too early to say jason Humphrey need more time Hope we bat our 50 overs tomorrow. We will win if we chase. I agree with that, Tyrell. I think we have, I think we have a better chance winning if we chase. And I think that what happened Wednesday, one of the things that happened Wednesday, apart from the topping up, one of the things that happened is that once Hope lost the toss and we were put into bat first, I think that these players are so soft, they are so weak mentally. And because they were batting first, they just lost it. They lost the composure. They lost the mentality. They lost the fight. I think that's what one of the reasons why we lost. Derek, first time here. Welcome to the show. Really, you believe that? I, I can't know what you are referring to, Derek. I said a lot of things. So I hope that another time you will tell us what you are talking. I'll put it in the comment section so that we can see. But clearly, I can't just tell what you are talking about from four words. When will Powell, Hussein, all that, etc., come home to start preparing for the T20? I guess they will be here on Monday. The squad has not yet been named, although I name a squad today. But the squad will be, they should be here on Monday. Tomorrow is the final of the Abu Dhabi T10. How do you heard any news on the actual release of the T20 roster against England? No, we haven't heard that as yet. It's just, but trust me, Brian H., the squad that I play, today is very 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 close if it is not the actual squad maybe one maybe two players different maybe maybe they, they bring in a teenager but i don't see much change apart from that i'd be very very disappointed if mayors is included in that t20 squad his performance does not merit his selection in the squad ahead of the other players no way good evening sherwin welcome to the show what has powell done to retain his spot on the team now you would have to and if you cannot single powell because powell is a captain of the team and since he has been captain we have not lost a t20 series but performance wise against india in the odi series he, he was our third leading batsman so he scored more runs than Hope. He scored more runs than Etmeyer. So if you are saying, asking that question, what he does to retain his spot on the team, you will have to ask that same question too about Etmeyer and Hope because he scored more runs than them in the last series. Valerie Orr, good evening to you. How are you doing, my dear friend? I listened to your squad this morning. We will see the Cricket Forum 2-2. 
Yes, never like to bat first. They just like to chase the score. And I don't know why they like to bat. They don't like to bat first. Jason Humphrey, I really think that was an issue on Wednesday. They lost it. They are weak mentally. They are not up to it. Any word on John Camber? No, he's still serving his suspension. So too, I've not heard anything about the, the, the all-rounder wicked keeper, Thomas. I have not heard anything about him too. Lindell, first time here. Thank you for being here. Surely at my place in the team is under scrutiny. Yes, Lindell Ballers, I agree with you. Bishop, any one of the squad list? No, the squad has not been released, but I've picked a squad. So there's a video in the on the home page that you can watch where my squad that I've picked, which I believe that that will be the squad. Please slash a like on the video and click on the subscribe button. And remember, if you are in the U.S. and you are sending money, choose Western Union. The link is in the video description. Once you click on that link, you just register and you don't have to leave wherever you are to send the money. Or if you are not in the U.S. and somebody is sending money to you from the U.S., share the link with them and tell them they do not have to leave where they are to send the money. Lindell Etmeyer is flopping. He's getting, embar it's getting embarrassing with him. Yes. Um, good evening. Sorry I am late. 11.20 p.m. in the UK. Our batsmen need to learn how to set score. Frank Quammen, I agree with you 100%. Coach, Sa Coach Sammy need to send Myers to go to the exam or to bat all the side of the pitches. He need to go to regain his batting. Thank you all for being here. It's a ple it was a pleasure being here. And join me tomorrow at 12.25 at the start of, this, of the third and final ODI between West Indies and England. It's match 105, and it is a series decider. You, Howard, the West Indies will have to restrict England to a score 275. Anything over will create a challenge. Well, that is true, but we saw where we chased down trees 25. Thank you all on the poll. I think the West Indies A team was a mixture of guys who needed the match practice as well as guys who needed more exposure to develop their game. For example, the silver needs some game time to get back in tune. And finally, he, he scored a century, and that was good. Bishop is saying, do you think we will win a match in Australia. I let me give it some more thought. Let us finish this series against England and then turn to the Australia. Um, Hetmeyer should only play T20s. Okay, Tyrell. I'm dropping Captain Ravman Paul, Brandon King, Yannick Carrier, and Casey Carter. Okay, Sharon, I'd be disappointed if you had said anything else. But one love, take care of yourself. Take care of your loved ones. See you tomorrow at 12.25 p.m. Jamaica time, 1.25 in the Eastern Caribbean. And it will be six hours later, five hours later in the UK. So that will be 5.25 in the UK. Take care, everyone. Take care of yourself. Take care of your loved ones. Bye for now.